Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting video if you have not subscribed our channel then please subscribe our channel and to get each and every update please click on the bell icon. If you have not watched the previous video then please watch it those will help you to understand this video. Video, we will learn about EH Cash. What is EH Cash or Second Level Cash? EH Cash is an open standards-based cash for boosting performance, offloading your days, and simplifying scalability. As a robust, proven, and full-featured solution, it is today's most widely used Java-based cash. You can use EH cash as a general-purpose cash or a second-level cash for high. Caching is facility providing by ORM frameworks which help users to get fast running web application, while help framework itself to reduce the number of queries made to the database in a single transaction. In Hibernate by default enabled first level cache so need to add some configuration to enable EH cache or second level cache. How does cache work internally? Cache a cache means a store of things that will be required in future, and can be retrieved rapidly. Or a cache is a collection of temporary data which either duplicate data located elsewhere or is the result of a computation. Once in the cache, the data can be repeatedly accessed inexpensively. Cache hit, when a data element is requested of the cache and the element exists for the given key, it is referred to as a cache hit or simply hit. Cache miss, when a data element is requested of the cache and the element does not exist for the given key, it is referred to as a cache miss, or simply miss. System of record, the core premise of caching assumes that there is a source of truth for the data. This is often referred to as the system of record, SOR. The cache acts as a local copy of data retrieved from or stored to the system of record. This is often a traditional database, although it may be a specialized file system or some other reliable long-term storage. For the purposes of using EH cache, the SOAR is assumed to be a database. Let's implement before starting anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Service started. See everything is working fine. Every time refresh the user list page it hits the database. Let's integrate second level cache or EH cache. Search for EH cache maven core dependency. Copy this and paste it in palm XML file. Let's create a separate XML file for cache. To make it simple file name should be spring cache. Import this file in the spring context. Now let's modify accordingly. Search for EH cache spring namespace. Let's copy this and paste it in spring cache XML file.
need to enable cache sanitation. Create a bean for EH Cache Cache Manager. Create a bean for EH Cache Manager Factory Bean. Need to create one more file for EH Cache. To make it simply create the separate folder called Cache. Create a new file called EH Cache XML. Search for default format of EH Cache XML. Copy this and paste it. and copy this default cache code. Let's give name users. Now let's see how to use this users cache in the service class. But before that add this file location in config location. We want this cache for the user list, so add annotation called cacheable and pass the value as users. That's it, let's run and see it's working fine or not. Service started. Oops giving exception let's fix it. Giving cache exception like when configured copy on read or copy on write to store will only accept serializable values. Let's implement serializable interface for user class. I hope you got the point, if yes then add in the comment. Let's run again. Service started. See it's working now. Let's refresh multiple times and see it's hitting database every time or coming from cache. See it's not hitting, the result is coming from cache. Let's add some more properties in EH Cache XML file. Search for EH Cache Persistence Strategy Example. Like Local Temp Swap, enables temporary local disk space. This option provides an extra tier for storage during cache operation, but this disk storage is not persisted. After a restart, the disk tier is cleared of any cache data. Let's run again and see if there any difference, you won't feel any difference but like that, there are many properties so you can use as per your requirement. Service started.
see the list is refreshing multiple times but not always hitting the database. Let's add some more properties in eHcache XML. Like memory store eviction policy. LRU, least recently used. LFU, least frequently used. FIFO, first and first out. So like that let's modify some more. Let's run again. Service started. See it's working but now it works but not as expected. It's happening because of copy on read and copy on write true. So let's remove both the property. And add a new property like disk spool buffer size MB. Let's run again. Service started. See now it's working as expected. Let's review whatever we added. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please click the like button. We will come back shortly with new video. Till the time happy learning.